Next, private money. Bitcoins, for lots of people, that's much better than government money. This woman will explain. Don't give up your money, use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Don't give up your money, use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Use Bitcoin whenever you pay. Bitcoin. That's a digital currency, money not controlled by any government, and for many people, better than this paper money. So why? Tatiana Moroz, who composed and sang that song, will explain. Why are you singing about Bitcoin? Well, because I'm a singer-songwriter and Bitcoin inspired me to write something. I wanted to lure Bit people in. Money inspires you? Alternate money? When I learned about Bitcoin, at first I thought it was pretty boring, but then once I got it, I got inspired and I saw that this why, could why change inspired? the world. Why inspired? How could it change the world? Well, because I think that there's a lot of uses for Bitcoin. You know, there's over 2 billion people in the world that don't have access to banking. And now, because of Bitcoin, they're able to have a bank account on their SMS phone. It doesn't even need to be an iPhone or anything. I have a friend who has a charity called Code to Inspire. And what they did there was uh, the girls, they teach them how to code and then they pay them with Bitcoin. How that's different from these are girls in in Afghanistan. So what how that's different from before is they would have to pay them with Afghani money and it was very unsafe because they'd have to hide it under their mattresses and hopefully no one in their family would find it. They didn't have control over their finances. Now that they're paid in Bitcoin, they can have complete control and they can live their lives freely instead of having to worry about somebody else coming and taking their money. So I think that alone is enough to empower millions, billions of people around the world. Your website has this picture of you and it says artists and cryptocurrency. What does that mean? What's cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is money secured by cryptography. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Counterparty, all these different kinds of new currencies that are coming so Bitcoin about. Bitcoin isn't the only one. There's no, Bitcoin, competition. Yes. Well, they're not always competition. I think that each kind of cryptocurrency can offer different, uh, different value propositions to people. The reason I bought some is because I don't trust the people who print these things, that they won't print gazillions more and make these valueless. With Bitcoin, that can't happen. There's a limit to how many are out there. Exactly. It's cryptographically secure. And there's nobody that's in charge of it that could just go and print it whenever they'd like. And I must say, when I bought them for 112 bucks, people mocked me. Um, but compared to these, uh, it's gone up four times that. Absolutely. Well, it was the best performing currency of 2015 worldwide. And then from this date one year ago, it's gone up by 87% because the Fed makes these out of thin air. Yes, they do. Now, there's criticism. Bitcoin enables crime, terrorism. There was this website, Silk Road, that got shut down. They were selling guns, drugs. Well, actually, Bitcoin isn't really good for illicit activity because it's traceable. Every single transaction is recorded on the blockchain. So if you want to launder money, you don't want to use Bitcoin because it can be traced really easily. And most people that I know are using Bitcoin for completely legal purposes. You can use uh, services that help you get discounts at Amazon, discounts at uh, Starbucks. You can save money at Overstock.com as well. So there's all sorts of ways to use Bitcoin legally. All right. Thank you, Tatiana. Next, how private companies are more likely than government to fly us to Mars. Private companies are picking up where the government left off in the race for space. Virgin Galactic is starting the first commercial space flight for private citizens.